If you could, but let's just start. Where, where are you from? Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. Um, backtrack a little bit. My parents are Liberian, so cool. they came okay. over in the early '80s. So I still think it's you know fascinating that I could have been born there and I'm born here, and some of the opportunities and cool things that have come out of it. So Charlotte went to University of Georgia, had an opportunity to play football there, played in the NFL for a few years, and now live here in Atlanta. Very cool. Okay. So, growing up in Charlotte, I, parents were immigrants, so you're first generation. First generation. Here. Yeah. What, what was that like? It's weird because you are almost in a bubble mm-hmm. of, you know, my parents' friends are African and culturally there's a disconnect in your experiencing one thing at school and you're experiencing one thing at home and the people and with your cousins and family and friends. So, you kind of have this combination and intersection that you pull a little bit from both sides and you develop your own little world per se. I'm sure that's interesting. Did, yeah. did that lend a different perspective than maybe some people you're going to school with or playing sports with? Uh, just how you view things. Um, you know, it's, it's, you have the developed world of America, you know, bustling economy and everything. And then you have Liberia that is going through a civil war at the time and, just how you, my parents escaped and other family members escaped and came over here and their view on life and their appreciation for the small things mm. and just not even understanding American culture all the way so not even being able to teach it to me so just that weird you know intersection of everyone's trying to figure this thing out as we go along sure yeah and so you're you're on your own in terms of learning what american culture is and how to make your way through it you know uh i wouldn't say on my own because you you pick it up organically Mm -hmm. as as a kid as you're going through school or you're watching tv and you're learning things and you're you know educating your parents as to why this particular shoe is better than the other shoe (laughs) why this song is better than the other song sure uh but things like that are, are just fascinating to me. Yeah. And you used the word escape. Uh, what, what were your parents escaping from? Oh, Civil War. So if um, historically, if you think of Liberia, it's a country that the freed slaves went to and it was very peaceful um, leading up to probably the late 70s. Mm-hmm. And then there was a different coups trying to overthrow the government. And then that leads to civil war that lasts probably from 1980 to 2003-ish. Uh, and you just have just utter tor- turmoil where people are dying and people are bombing things. And there's just complete chaos. So you're trying to escape out of there. I think I read something the other day where like five to 600,000 people died um, wow. in a country at the time. It was probably only 3 million people. So... You lose a, a fifth or sixth of your population. That's wow. pretty big reason to escape and, and try to mm. get a new life. And I, I've never really thought of this before, but Liberia shares the same root as liberation. It's, you know, I mean, it's, yeah. a, it's so, free, but then there's all this so turmoil. On the continent of Africa, mm-hmm. uh, Liberia and Ethiopia were the only two countries that were never colonized. Mm-hmm. And in having that, I guess, freedom... And then that turned into civil war. It's this, you know, weird dichotomy. It's like, what happened? What went wrong? Um, But in being able to escape and come over here, basically put down new roots and help your family have a better future. It's uh, tons of appreciation for that. I'd say your parents did a great job.